Salut coders, welcome back here to another tutorial. In this tutorial, I want to show you how we can implement forgot password. So let's get started. So let's go to, to our Keyclock user service. In here, we just say void and type forgot. Forgot password and here you pass the username. And let's implement the method. So this is this is the implementation that you want to do. So the first thing we want to find the we want to search this user by username. And what you can do is to come here where we search a username like this. We have get resources, get user resources, and here you can pass the username that you are going to send. So it will return a list. So from this list, we need to find, we are going to have one user for a, a username is unique. So you are going to get the one with the one user to or else it will return a now. So after returning a now, let's check if it's if we have this user. If it's not equal to now, we can proceed. So what we can do, we need also this user with this user resources and we can get a resource using the user id of this user representation then we can get a, res a user resource it means a single user this is the user that you can get so from this user let's create we want to we want to update like an action and this one is a string Let's put a string. I just call it actions equals to new array list and I'll just say actions dot add in the action that you want to do it's called update password. Okay, create a constant field for this. So using our user resource, you just say user resource dot execute email with this list. So after doing this, you can reset a password for the else part. Then you, you just say return. Here we just say throw new runtime exception and just say user not found. So let's create an, a public API to test this because it's this one can be required without user logged in on the application. And I can do this. I can copy this. Let's copy this. Here we just say public. Let's copy what we have done here. You just say for good password. And you want a username.
and let's copy this our service we want to use this service here let's inject here it's going to be forgot password and requires a username so let's test our application if forgot password is now working so in our swagger you can see we have this new endpoint called public pass a username forgot password and it's a put because we want to update our record and if i enter anything here which is not the username that we want let's see okay the reason i know it's because of user not found you can see the exception has been thrown so what we can do we need to enter a correct username the correct username is this one code with bisc that's the correct username that we are using for this user to log to log in on our application so if i do this enter the correct username and click execute i think right now it's working and we got a success so let's wait for the email to come through so you can see this is the email that have come through so i just say look safe and this is the link to update an account so let's click this and i can proceed and here i can enter a new password i can just say test it 4321 test it 4321 and i can submit this you can see the password has been updated so if i try to log in it will fail because this password is no longer valid so the correct password is now 4321 and i can try to log in and i can get a, a new token so thank you guys for watching this video i hope you learned a lot of updating your if you forgot your password with Kicklock, it's able to get a new to update a password. Salut, coders.